Hey, how you doing? My name is J. Eric Bell, and I just got back from Beirut, Lebanon, while filming a movie, Honey Baby, Honey Baby, on location. And it was a hell of an experience. By the way, my name in the movie is Skigi, better known as Umbeni Malele. I entered my cousin, Honey Baby, in this TV contest. And she won it, a trip around the world. She's smart. I knew she'd win it. She's the smartest sister in Harlem. Anyway, we're off to Beirut, Lebanon, and we're on this boat, see? And we meet this Chinese lady on the boat. This Chinese lady has this microdot on her face. The microdot I'm telling you about, she takes this microdot and puts it, takes it off her face, puts it in Honey Baby's passport. Nobody knows it. She does it real slick. But at some point in time, she drops her bag or something, and that's when she does the transaction. But well, anyway, this microdot has this secret formula of this African prime minister's body. Now, this microdot has this formula on it to keep his body preserved. And stuff starts to get sticky. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. Hey, look, I ain't gonna tell you no more. I'm gonna let you dig the rest for yourself, all right? We're gonna watch the flick. Yo! Let's get it on! And some giant photographer is supposed to be going with us throughout the trip. Now, I thought that me and Honey Baby were supposed to be doing this together, just the two of us. I can see Honey Baby now. Lord, have mercy. Arthur, um, could you bring me my suitcase, darling? And, um, Honey, could you please get me my, um, oh, my sunshade. You know, I'm stripping myself of my shade to block the sun out of the view. Darling, my son, as you know, I simply must get a chance. Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> I got to take this yeah. smoke on the boat. Hey, then it's just, you take yourself nothing, man. You're going to the land of the hash, man. June, George, bring your ass on up here. 
up here and give me a hand. What the hell do you think this is? Arthur, take your black ass on home. You know you have to meet a plane in the morning. For that? I got a good one for you, Sam. Oh, yeah? Yeah. How about yesterday, Lenox Avenue? Today, Beirut. It's an embarrassing question. She's my mother. Half Irish indiscretion. What was wrong with an airplane? That's all I want to know. As a concept, what was wrong with an air-conditioned plane? Oh, Sam, you can travel on a plane any old time.
I'm afraid our celebration might have been a trifle premature. She's got nothing in her drawers. They're going to search us too? Yeah, I expect so. You. Come in. La, 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 la. You, come in. Me? Come in. that container I have. I never ask about content. Only shape, size, and possibly form. I want to check that chick and find out what she knows, huh? Excellent idea. Let's head him off at the pass. Yep.
police are like here? I don't know. What do you mean? I mean like if they caught you with a joint. Oh, well, we don't even have to discuss that because we don't do that sort of thing. Do we? No. I was just wondering if it was a big offense here. Let's put it this way. I hear to cut your hands off from the elbows. My name is Mbani Malele. Will you kindly cut the crap and tell me what is the matter with you? Hmm? You know that Chinese lady on the boat? Yeah. Lebanese cops are probably cutting her elbows off right now. What the hell are you talking about? I laid a couple of joints on her. What? When the customer was searching us. Oh, Jesus, Skiggy. I didn't mean to do it, Laura. I was scared. Wait a minute. What are we going to do? Well, we just can't let her rot in the jail here. Oh, that was a terrible thing to do, Skiggy. Where are you going? To the harbor police. To the police? Just don't worry. I'll think of something on the way. And take that thing down. Mm-hmm. 
sensational, out of sight black chick I've seen in years, and you remind me of my mother, my sister, my first girlfriend, my last girlfriend, in short, you remind me. Of pickup. Oh no, dinner and dance, no ballroom stuff. <laughs> As a matter of fact, you don't remind me of my first girlfriend or my last girlfriend. 
that was ugly. Now your mother blessed you. Is that your honest opinion, Miss Laura? How did you know my name? I checked at the hotel. You are that beautiful. I'm Tutankhamun, King Tut. Now tell me, is your interest in all this uh, for real or can we go someplace? My interest in the history and the culture of this country is both real and extensive. And you and I can go no place, baby. Also, I doubt if I'm rich enough for you. Where were you? Where were you? In the museum. What museum? The Beirut Museum. Ah. Herb. I mean, you have got to understand, Laura, that part and parcel of the whole deal is that we send evidence of your trip back home for the people to see on the show. Oh, I understand. What you mean is that at the moment has not only been photographed, but processed and projected, that it has not happened, right? Look, Laura, be reasonable. We know that you went to the museum, right? <laughs> to look at whatever you looked at. But the people back home watching on TV want living proof that a world trip is what you've won. Now look, Sam, I want a trip, goddammit, to see the world by myself with one other of my choice. To enjoy things, people, and places, not to sell goddamn candy bars or whatever it is that buys your time. Listen, Ms. Laura Lewis. Yes. You agreed to be under our auspices and guidance no, no, and no, to cooperate. Sam. No, I never agreed to no such thing or clause. Yes, you did. Look where you get out of my face. Herb, Herb. Yes, you did. When? When? On the original entry form. I never sent that in. Oh, no, who did? Number over here. It was his idea. Nonetheless, you're still bound by it. Listen, Laura, Laura, I, I will give you all the free time you want. Oh, Sam. Okay. You're such a big person. Laura? Okay. What can I say? Herb. What'd they say? What do you mean, what did they say? You just heard what they just said. They said, they said, we're here to sell. We're here to promote. I'm talking about the cops. Oh, the cops. Oh, well, they said, they said they never arrested any Chinese woman, they never heard of any Chinese woman, and they thought I was just another dizzy American. That's crazy. We saw them take off the boat. Yeah, well, the man checked thoroughly. There's just no Chinese woman. They put them on the boat. They may very well be doing just that, Steve. Now, you go into your room, you put your clothes on, and I'll meet you downstairs with Sam and her. She doesn't exist. And the joints can exist. So that puts us in the clear, right? Yeah, something like that. If you want to look at it that way. Yeah, hey, Herb, take our picture. They are beautiful, aren't they? Yes, yes, they really are. I believe they give concerts here. Really? Must be quite a sound. Okay, hey, Laura, I gotta get out of this time. We'll see you out front. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's <laughs> go. 
Miss Lewis? Yes. Can, can I call you on your hotel? I'd like to talk to you alone. Why? Madame Cheng, the Chinese woman? She's missing. You know where she is? Nefertiti, Nefertiti in the ruins. Oh, oh, that's trouble. Oh, no, that's perfect. That's the champagne sender. It's got to be. Oh, right. it's just what we needed, a little romance. Oh, look at that guy. Oh, he's probably an African prince or something. Oh, you a flower. <laughs> you 
baby. Oh, it's death in Venice. It's death in Venice. No, what was that picture with Rosanna Brazzi and Deborah Carr? You know, which... Never mind. Get a picture, Herb. Get a picture. Get a... Get a... Get a... Get a... I've got the load. Jesus Christ, Herb. Will you have dinner with me tonight? I can't, Dad. I'm tired. Oh, we'll make it an early dinner. Pick you up at your hotel. Don't take any pictures of me and I'll kick your ass. African prince. He's from 127th Street. graduate's joke, which will cost you dearly. It's a fake. The American woman must have the real formula. Find it! Yes. Uh, you up to Our Lady of Lebanon. Oh, I'll be doing a show up there tomorrow. By the way, thank you for the flowers. And thank you for the champagne also. <laughs> that was nothing, man. Close your eyes. Why? Because we're almost there, and I don't want you to see any of the name signs. Oh, all right, all right. My eyes are closed. Oh, 
sure you don't know where you are. Mm -hmm. How long do I have? Just until dinner time. Watch out. Thirteenth century. I know that much. Oh, I, I don't know. I give up. No, no, no. I don't give up. <laughs> give me a clue. What am I, my brother's keeper? That's a clue? Mm-hmm. Am I my brother's keeper? Cain. Abel? Take the eye out of Cain. Cain. And Egyptian funeral boats. You're deliberately trying to confuse me. Oh, no. It's also a Greek word. Well, where's the historical connection? It's all on paper. <gasps> I've got it. Right, George, I've got it. Paper! Papyrus! The Pharaoh's funeral boats were made from Cedars of Lebanon. The Greeks call paper biblos, hence the word Bible. The eye out of Cain, Canaanites, known as Phoenicians, who had three city-states, Tyre, Sidon, and Jabal. Biblos, hence this is Biblos. Right on, sister, brilliant. Listen, honey, I wasn't born in Harlem, you know? <laughs>
You know? Mm hmm I saw a man die yesterday. And you know the first thing I thought? What's that? Please, don't let this spoil my trip. A man just died, and all I could think of was, I don't want to get involved. You were not involved. Well, there was this Chinese woman. But the man who died was an African. And what happened to the Chinese woman? Lovely. Maybe I'm sure No, please, just wait. Look, I am no 17-year-old schoolgirl. I never thought you were. Well, you acted like you did. And all those stories, and that sweet talk, and that, that fancy setup. Laura, <laughs> will you let me say something? Look, look, I did not come all the way to Lebanon to be had by some, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, just a minute. Take it easy. We've been through that before. I understood every word your friend said. Okay, Peppy was wrong. Okay. And what about you? I was wrong, too, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry about the whole thing. Okay? Okay. See, the real reason I brought you here was because I wanted to find out about Madame Chan. Madame Chan? Yeah, the, the Chinese woman on the boat. What's your interest in her? I'll tell you about that later. Oh, where'd you like to go now? I'd like to go for a long drive. Someplace cool. Peaceful. No, I know just the place. I know you'll love it. Okay, but uh, do me a favor. What's that? No more surprises. I didn't realize you had such a temper. I don't have a temper. You don't? No. I thought you did. Aren't you going a little fast? No. No. Hmm. I don't imagine anything frightens you, though. No. Not much, not much. No. No, seriously. Very little. I told you, they don't 
not so much drive cars here as aim them. I can see. And if you're going to live here, you have to get into habit, you know? Nerves of steel. That's you, isn't it? Truly. You know, most people wouldn't put them in the crises. Chris, that uh, you weren't afraid of? No, no, no. All I did was to use none of my, my brains. I thought, you know, most people in crises, they, they panic. But under stress, I am one of the calmest people. Really. I believe it. I know myself very well. What's the matter? Nothing. What's wrong? Nothing is wrong. Oh, my God. Get out. Get out. Get out of town already. Chinese woman. The Ch 
Chinese woman. I have nothing to do with her. What would they want with me? I'm gonna find out. We're gonna take Peppy's boat. Get out of here. Just in case those mothers are still waiting out there on the road. Look, 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 Liv. I, I, don't, I don't want to get involved. Kwasi Lasuthi. I read about him in the papers. He led his country to independence. Then his enemies, his new enemies from within his own country, killed him. Blamed and executed an innocent. And displayed his body as if he were their friend. Well, now we have him. No, Liv. You have him.
container weighs about half a ton. We're gonna have to make your friend a little bit more mobile. You know I love caviar. And you know I love salmon. Why don't you sing the lament for the Scottish salmon tonight? Why don't you stop sending drinks to that African over there? This is a saloon, not a charity ward. Angelo, Angelo. You see that that man over there gets the bill for those drinks he's drinking. Tu comprends? Okay. You people have exploited me all my life. <laughs> I began. Little nigga in the islands and tight pants. <laughs> oh my God, Skiggy. What about it? Oh God, I forgot all about Skiggy. I gotta find Skiggy. What if? I gotta find Skiggy. All right, Skiggy. all right, all right. Well, yeah. Yeah, I need some help anyway. Yeah, we can kill two birds with one stone. Right. is open. This lady reminds him of home. Well, aren't you going to come with me? No, I don't want to see Harry yet. And he's bound to be in there, too, sitting right at Bricktop's table. Bricktop? Yeah, you can't miss him. <laughs> okay. Mind you go. Mm-hmm. Oh, 
out, 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 out. You know I don't have any goons. I want the full story, Harry. All right, all right. Now look, the liberal opposition to the military junta who now run that man's country hired me, us, a 
to remove the body and so bring disgrace on the Junta, and B, to remove the support the possession of the body gave them. And Madame Chan? She was carrying the formula for preserving the body on a microdot. Who's that, sir? How the hell do I know? Agents of the Junta, I suppose. But now listen, no, Cliff. Mr. Makuba has said that he'll give us some money for the return of the body. No. Oh, no, come on, Liv, half a loaf, half a loaf. If the body disintegrates, we're going to get nothing. I will have half of Africa after my head. Exactly. So let's get rid of the bloody thing with all due haste. No. But you must, sir. We need it. And we will have it. Uh, this is Mr. Makuba, uh, Miss Liv. What is the body to you without the formula? We'll bury it decently. I don't like the feel of it. Something stinks. Where is the body? It's in a blacksmith shop in town. Oh, not anymore. I've moved it. You bastard. Please tell us where the body is. No way, baby, no way. Oh, come on, Liv. At least this way we'll cover our expenses. Hand over the wretched thing. Not until I find out who's trying to... He'll never tell you where it is, you know. He was with the American woman last night. Perhaps she helped to move the body. Then we must frighten her a little until she can tell us where it is. Okay, that's enough time with the makeup shell. Thanks a lot. Okay, that's all your study time. Here, Herb, take this. You don't look your best, I'll say that. Build my confidence, Sam. Build my confidence. I thought the African prince might be with you. Kept you out all night. You could have kept him out all day. Good luck to you. Bon chance. Okay, everybody, now let's make it a terrific show. I'm ready, Sam. Okay. Now, is there anything you would like to say to the people back home before we go on? Oh, yes. Yes, I'd, um, I'd like to say hello to all the girls and all my friends at Kazdenland. Aha. Laura says hi to all her friends at Krasdenland, USA. No, um, it's a beauty parlor on 125th Street. See? What did I tell you? Now I... Uh... Ah! I would like you to tell the folks back home something of your experiences here in the Middle East. Better yet, let them see. Let them see what winning our fabulous travel trail entitles the lucky Laura Lewis too. And now, question number one.
Sabotage show is canceled. Miss Lewis gets the rest of the trip. See that? Sabotage. We got to do something about that shit. Nigga, sit down. Ain't no A-train going to no Lebanon. at the house this morning. I heard him and Harry arguing and uh, he might still be there. You know, you can't tell about those two. Well, thank you very much. Come on, Skiki, let's go. No, but wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, if you're going up to the house, be very, very careful of those bad dogs. Every night he lets them loose. Why don't you just stay in the car until Harry uh, opens the door? What if he's not home? Feed them some marshmallows. Marshmallows? Yes. They're addicted to marshmallows. That's what I feed them when I want to keep them quiet. Mm -hmm. but don't forget to get the best kind. Gotcha. Big as them dogs is, they ain't gonna go for no marshmallows. Skiki, nothing be so dry but a failure. Throw it. Oh, shucks, they're getting down now. Until tomorrow. Yes. Yes. Believe me, Liz, if you knew the money this has cost me. Now, come on, isn't the percentage better than nothing at all? Mm -hmm. Oh, you poor baby. Mm -hmm. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. yeah, you, huh? Mm -hmm. oh, all right, okay. General Awani doing here? Who? General Awani, the African. He was at the nightclub, too. I just remembered who he is. That's Makuba. No. That's General Christian Awani. How do you know? He's one of the higher-ups in the military junta. How do you know? Because he headed an aid delegation to the UN last year. That's why he wants the body. I'm gonna figure out a way to get that mother. Compromising. What? Make it look as if he and the Yunta removed the body. Then his own people will take care of him. Right, let's set him up. Okay. Now will you be bait? Why not?
here. tells me he still has your friend prisoner. I uh, don't necessarily believe him. It's me. escape, Miss Lewis. If you play games with me, I will kill you without hesitation. can't get the keys either. And you know, of course, if either one of us shoots in here, we'll have the entire police force of Beirut on our necks. So, why don't we make a deal? What are your terms? Money!
How are you with you? Harry's at home. With a sore head. Tell me where the body is. It's upstairs. Where's the money? Do you have any more money? Let's go finish the job. after his arrest. No details are available. A new government has taken power and will arrange for the return of the body of the beloved Kwasi Lesotho. John, don't think that... Take care of yourself, Nefertiti.
Shut up, I ain't sleeping every goodbye, I ain't going, it ain't 